acts of arson following the shooting death of a man who attempted to quell a heated argument between two other men on the weekend in Westmoreland have left many wondering if the worst has passed. The men were said to be friends, but the developments suggest otherwise. Trisha Gay Kelly has the details. It all started when a fight between two men allegedly over a woman erupted at a party in the Truro community of Froome, Westmoreland, early Saturday morning. Attempting to de-escalate the situation, a farmer familiar with both parties, Sheldon Shakes, stood between the men preaching peace. But his seeds of unity fell on stony ground, yielding his own death. His mother, Janice Tomlinson, says since the news of her son's tragic end, she has not been well. And two times ago, doctor, Saturday morning, of a 24 hour doctor, and then we go in the evening. But this is a just take the medication, and the pressure of a high 200 and add. And so, my brother come. It's as though history has repeated itself. Tomlinson also lost a daughter to the same fate years ago, but she's not the only mother grieving. Miss Alcott, mother of one of the men in the fight, is now mourning too. Her property consisting two houses, hers and another son's, were burnt to the ground. It's reported that her son is the one who shot and killed Shakes while injuring another patron. There are speculations that the fires could be their first misfortune as some venture on a quest for revenge. Alcott, who lives overseas, says her son had planned to visit the house Monday morning to collect a few items, a now impossible feat. I get my savings to remodel that house. I change all the furniture in my house. My son was my son my son did an addition to his house. Everything to finish the house was inside that house. The two bedroom house was set on fire Saturday night. The following night her son's house was also blazing. Added to that, a chicken coop with livestock also went up in flames. She has since implored her son to relocate in the interest of his safety. Counselor for the Friendship Division, Joan Bahador, says she'll be assisting in any way she can. It's very sad, and I wasn't in the parish. I spoke to the mother of the business and the brother, and it is very sad. You know, things like this should be happening. Friends. Both men involved in the fight have disappeared since the shooting incident. Trisha Gay Kelly, CVM News.